Here's how to access Dolly 3 in ChatGPT and generate images easily and quickly, unless you unknowingly violate their policies. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Once you're logged in, click on GPT-4 and from the drop-down menu, select Dolly. Let's see how it does. Create a beautiful dashboard for me with KPIs, KRIs, OKRs. It converts it to a detailed description, which can act as a future prompt for you and generates the images. All right, first off, I'm surprised because these are stunning. And I didn't even do anything. I mean, look at these, especially this one. How much would it cost me to have someone do a concept design like this? Hundreds of dollars or maybe even more. And it took me, what, a minute or so to do this? And that's without any design or even Dolly experience. But I wonder, is it consistent though? Be brief in your text responses and do the following for me. One, tell me what types of business models are there, the top three. Two, create an image of a PowerPoint slide for each that displays beautiful representation and a short explanation. Three, give me two different images for each. It does this thing. And the answer is yes, it is consistent and the quality is just as good. While there are some typos and the text isn't how I want it to be, I'm not too bothered because it's just the first iteration. So it's a win on this one. However, there is a problem with Dolly 3 or rather with the request that I made. Apparently it violated some policy that I'm not even aware of almost making me think it's a hallucination on ChatGPT's part. Here's what happened. I made a YouTube video on the release of Dolly 3 in ChatGPT and want a nice YouTube thumbnail. Can you create a nice and beautiful eye-catching thumbnail for me? Give it six options. And while it looks like it's working on my request, I got a response of policy violation, asking what policy I violated and to double check led to a mixed response saying that no policy was violated, but there is an internal error. It just became a back and forth, so I said, forget about YouTube, just an image based on my request. And finally, I got one, which I didn't really like. So I changed my prompt and got some really nice options. Sure, there are some typos, but the images are really nice and appealing. I like them. Let me know which image you like the most. And at the end of the day, really, it did work out. Maybe it was something to do with the word YouTube or the way the prompt was written down. But it worked just fine, and let me know which one you like the most. Thanks for watching.